It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, it's a Friday. Once again, we are ending the work week with the Masterpiece Friday, and I'm going back to continue my trek through Made in Japan from Deep Purple. I've got my vinyl out right there in the place of honor. We heard side one back on March 29th, so it's been six weeks since we first started this journey, and it's time to move on to side two from this historic live album from Deep Purple. As a refresher, they were touring Japan in 1972 in support of Machine Head, which was their most recent studio album. Uh, they released it in the spring of that year in 1972. And while they were in Japan, they rolled tape. Y'all, more importantly, they rolled tape on an eight track recorder, which allowed the performances to be mixed later on so that we could hear everything perfectly. And uh, the album was uh, the result of these live concerts. And originally it was just meant to be uh, a limited release in Japan, but the demand was so high that uh, the double live album became quite successful and was sold all across the world. And there you have it, friends. Uh, so last time on side one, we heard Highway Star as well as Child in Time. It was a very fun time listening to that side of the vinyl. And so as we turn it over today to side two, we're going to hear Smoke on the Water and The Mule. So I have reviewed Smoke on the Water before on the channel. Uh, I heard the studio version off of Machine Head. Okay, so I have not yet heard this live version from Made in Japan, and I'm eager to hear it. The other song is The Mule. This is one that I have not yet heard from Deep Purple. It was originally included on their 1971 album, Fireball. And as I read in on that, I think we can expect a pretty great drum solo from Ian Pace on that one. So I'm looking forward to both of these songs on this side. But before we get to the music, friends, I am again pleased to welcome NordVPN as a sponsor of today's video. NordVPN is currently extending an exclusive offer to my viewers, and I'm excited about this, y'all. Every purchase of a two-year plan from NordVPN, which is already their best value, will get you an extra bonus of four months on your subscription. This applies to all of their plans, standard, plus, and complete. And this is only available, friends, if you click on the special link uh, in the top of this video's description. And uh, I am really excited to be back working with NordVPN. I am a happy customer and their products provide me with a great peace of mind. They have the fastest VPN on the planet and by far the most servers for us to connect to. They protect me while I am online, but they don't track or share what I do while I am online. And that's really a great comfort to me because I spend so much time online. Uh, they allow me to connect virtually around the world. And that is my favorite feature. Check this out, y'all. Uh, if I am traveling anywhere around the world, if I'm over in London, let's say I can connect my VPN to London and access whatever I need to there. But if I need to get back home, I can connect virtually from anywhere back to uh, anywhere in the country, including my home area here, which is right near New York. Uh, NordVPN is a great company and they have great products. And again, I am uh, excited to be working with them. Any purchase of their two year plans gets you a bonus of four months. This is an exclusive offer and you only get it if you click on my special link. It's nordvpn.com slash Doug Helvering. And they always offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. Okay, with all of that being said, let's get to side two of Made in Japan from Deep Purple. We've got Richie Blackmore on lead guitar, Ian Gillen is on the vocals, Roger Glover is on the bass, John Lord is on organ and piano, and Ian Pace is on the drums. And once again, y'all, I am making use of my own vinyl for this review. I imported the sounds off of my own side two last night and got it all set to go. 
And so that's what we're going to listen to today. I'm pumped to hear it. Let's get it, y'all. Side two of Made in Japan, starting off with Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Off we go. Here's a, a song. It's also from the last album. It tells the story of how we recorded it and what went wrong when we did it. Yeah, this is a real story, y'all. The true story of the fire that happened um, in Montreux, Switzerland during a Frank Zappa concert. There we go. That's a take on the riff. Crowd's still going. That's funny. Reset. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Iconic riff, right? Makes use of that flat five, right? sitting down. Makes you want to groove, doesn't it? Bum, 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 bum. We all came out to Montreux on the Lake Geneva shoreline. Yeah, Montreux on the Lake Geneva shoreline. It was a fire of a time, y'all. Frank, Frank Zappa and the mothers. Isn't it? They're in G. C major. A flat. Major four to flat two. Works though. John Lord's keyboards in the background, the way he fills in and adds his sound to the bass and the vocals and the drums and the guitar riff, it just fits in there. Love it. The Swiss time was running out. gonna get a guitar solo. Let's see what Richie's got here. So that's where they had to go. 
They had to go to the Grand Hotel where it was empty, cold, and bare. And they made it work. That's where they had to record because the place where they were going to record burned down. hard to harmonize because you just gotta play the riff. The melody itself is the thing. tell you, friends, this may take first place for my favorite version of this song. Wow. There's a minor four. The Amen cadence at the end. John's got to get the last word. No, 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 Richie's got to get the last word. No, John's got to get the last word. There we are. <laughs> Fun ending. Crowd loves it. Rock and roll, y'all. Okay, that's going to subside, and then we're going to move right on into the second song on this side. Only two songs here. He needs more on this ah. monitor. The Mule, described as their most experimental song, when I read in, especially with the organ work by John Lord and some drumming by Ian Pace. Whoa! It's almost 10 minutes, but there's not very many words here, y'all. I've, I've not heard this, so we're in for a ride. That's subtonic. The one, I think they're back in A. It's a major, not a minor. Cool. Listen to Ian on the drums.
gonna let Ian take this one. As advertised, we get a cool drum solo from Ian, y'all. How long is this gonna go on? It's the Ian Pace Show. Brought to you by the Mule. Who's also the devil in this story, by the way. Spoiler. trying to hit back at the mule, but the mule is elusive. The storyteller, the first person story, is a person enslaved and controlled and led by the mule, who is the personification of the devil here. And we'll get back to the story as soon as we finish Ian's epic drum solo, y'all. I was told to bring my air drums today, but I was not prepared. everywhere. I'm gonna have to put tape on that thing. Dang it. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Again. Once you break the seal the first time, it's hard to get it resealed, y'all. Listen to this, though. Got beads everywhere. Christ. guys just go next door to the Denny's? I know they're in Japan, but do they just go and, you know, have a snack? S sneak out the stage door and go have a smoke at least. Come back in. And wait till Ian's done. It's an amazing bit of drumming, y'all.
realize when they said drum solo that they meant most of the song. This is almost a 10 minute song. Half, more than half of it's gonna be the drum solo. There they go. going to be it. Wow! What a side. Ian Pace on the drums. Give it up. For Ian. And there you go, friends. That's side two. That was so much fun. So, I want to talk a little bit about, well, first of all, i got to find better adhesive to keep this from popping out. There's one. Got to go get my beads again and put them back into uh, the shaker. The shaker uh, will be resurrected from the dead once again, friends because uh, this is too much fun. <laughs> I can't believe I did that again. And I was holding it, I was holding it this way, right? I wasn't like trying to throw it that way. I was trying to be good, but you never know. The power of Deep Purple overtook my shaker, y'all, and it just had to happen. Let's take a look at this song, The Mule, uh, real quick. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's from their previous album, and it's the story of the mule who is actually the devil. And the storyteller, the first person uh, storyteller, is a person who is enslaved by, or controlled by, or led by, pulled by the mule. And there's just one verse. And here's what it says. I'm going to read it. Uh, no one sees the things you do because I stand in front of you. But you drive me all the time, put the evil in my mind, used to sing and say my prayers, live my life without a care. Now I have become a fool because I listened to the mule. How can I change when my mind is a friend of a Lucifer hid in the ground, just another slave for the mule? Really cool. Really cool. This, <clears throat> excuse me, friends. <clears throat> this band uh, continues to um, enthrall me, right? It's such great classic rock music. The fact that they did all of that exploratory uh, type stuff, experimentation, in the middle of that song. I mean, they gave it to us. Um, there at the beginning and uh, in a and then off they went and for like minutes on end with the uh, with the drum solo and then we got a little bit of uh, a return to the original music at the end and then ta -da, they're done how about that it makes me want to go back and listen to uh, that uh, that other album what album was that called um it's on Fireball. I don't know if I've heard anything from Fireball yet, besides the mule now. 
and that was quite fun. Well, friends, we're halfway there. We've listened to both side one and side two of uh, Made in Japan there from Deep Purple. We'll get to sides three and sides four in time, friends. We'll do this about once every month uh, for a few more months and enjoy getting through all of this real classic album. Uh, I'm excited to, to have it in my uh, in my collection and come back to it here every once in a while and, and just groove to the sounds of Deep Purple. Thanks y'all for being with me on this exciting Masterpiece Friday. Thanks to NordVPN for being the sponsor of this video. Check out their offer if you would please. Uh, we'll be back next week with a lot more music, but that is all for today and this week. I thank you for being with me and we'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug. It's The Daily Doug. Welcome to The Daily Doug. The Daily